What's going on everyone? It's Del Jr. 2 back here with another video and this time we have a debut with Blue Brock. So I got this Lou Brock card by just completing stage 3 of the Team Infinity with the St. Louis Cardinals. I have Lou Brock starting in left, Jacoby in center, Shepard at third, Glaber at second, Player of the Month Belly at first, Buster behind the plate, Reggie in right field, Player of the Month Correa at shortstop, and then Corey Kluber as my starting pitcher. So here the brand new Dodgers man is up Mookie Betts but I get the strikeout here first one of the ball game next up here is David Peralta and he hits one up the middle to the center fielder and that is a single so with one out here in the first they get their first hit of the ball game now Gary Sanchez is up and I get him to ground out to the second baseman but we got two outs there and we get the double play to end the first inning here we have the much anticipated debut of Lou Brock, and this is his first at bat of the year with me. The first pitch to him was an absolute dot right here. The very next pitch looked decent to hit to me, but unfortunately that was caught by the left fielder, so so far he's 0 for 1. Next up is Jacoby Ellsbury, who has a very hot bat for me, batting just under 400 at 394, and here he hits it up the alley. So right now I'm thinking too, but then I'm like, hey, he has speed. I may as well send him to third, and he is safe there with a triple in the first inning. Next up here, Chipper Jones comes up, and he hits an absolute bullet to the second baseman, and he makes a pretty good play there to keep it tied at 0-0. Here on full count with two outs, Gleyber Torres is up, but he hits it to right center field, but the right fielder gets there. And that ends the inning, so it's still tied 0 0. Here in the top of the second inning, Big Poppy is up, and he hits one to left center field, not deep enough. So J Jacoby Ellsbury, with his speed, gets over there, and that's the first out of the second inning. Here, Anthony Rendon is up, and on the 1 1 pitch, he hits a little chopper to the shortstop. And then he gets out, Correa with a strong arm gets it there in time, and now there's two gone. Here on the 2-2 pitch, Ken Griffey Jr. is up, the kid, but he strikes out on the slur, and that ends the inning, so now we're going to the bottom of the second. Here in the bottom of the second inning, player of the month, Cody Bellinger is up, and I hit that one perfectly through the shift, and that's a single here with no outs. Here in the bottom of the second inning with one man on on a 2-0 pitch I found the fastball right down the middle I just could not hit it well enough and that's out number one now Reggie Jackson is up and on the 1-2 pitch he hits the oppo taco to left field see you later now it's 2-0 ducks next up here is Carlos Correa and on the 1-2 pitch he hits it to the shortstop the shortstop feels it, throws it to first, and he is out, and now there's two outs in the inning. Now Corey Kluber's up the pitcher, and on the 0-2 pitch, he strikes out. I feel like for a pitcher like Kluber, you don't really expect like to get all that many hits with him, just because his contact and power isn't that good. Now Gavin Lux is up, and on the 0-2 pitch, he smacks it to center field it. And that's so close to being gone, but Jacoby cannot field it properly. So then my right fielder, Reggie, has to get it. And by then, he's already at third with a triple with no outs. Next up here is Kike Hernandez, and with the man on third, we get the strikeout, which is a big strikeout right there. So coming up next here is Zach Greinke. Next up here is Zach Greinke, and he bumps it and sends the runner home. And it worked out well for him, and now our lead is cut in half, 2-1. to one. Now Wookie Betts is up once again, but look at that filth. That slur struck him out to end the inning. And Lou Brock second at bat, this time he connects with the pitch. A fastball down, that one hits the gap. And just like Jacoby Ellsbury, Lou Brock has wheels. So with no outs, I'm like, let's send him to third. And he is safe in there at third base with no outs. Next up here is Jacoby Ellsbury, and on the first pitch of the at bat, he hits a little grounder to second. That works. That's a sacrifice hit right there. And now we're up by 2 3 1. 
On the 0-2 pitch to Chipper Jones, he just blows me away with a high fastball. I swing and miss, and that's the second out of the inning. Next up is Glaber Torres, and on the first pitch of the at-bat, I hit the high fastball. I don't really know what the fielder was doing there, but that allowed me to get a double, and I decided not to risk a triple with two outs there. Now Belly is up, and he strikes out on the curveball to end the inning, so we're still up 3-1 to one now. Here leading off the fourth inning is David Peralta, and on the first pitch of the at-bat, he hits one between the shortstop and third base to get a leadoff single. Here on the first pitch of this at-bat to Gary Sanchez, I make him look absolutely silly with that swing. And on the 0-2 pitch, things don't change much as I strike him out with the slurred ball. With one out here, Big Poppy's up and he drowns into a double play, so that really helped us out there. And now we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Here to start out the bottom of the fourth inning, Buster Posey's up and he hits a little blooper into left field. That gets past the shortstop and that's a single. Next up here is Reggie Jackson and just like in the top of the fourth, how we grounded out into a double play. Here Reggie Jackson fouls off a pitch and then swings at one not in the strike zone and that's a double play. So now there's two outs in the inning. On the 1-1 pitch to Carlos Correa, he hits one, a scorcher to the third baseman, but the third baseman comes up with a web gem there. Anthony Rendon is up here, and on the first pitch of the at-bat, he hits one into right field. That's a single, and now they might be having a comeback. Ken Griffey Jr. on the first pitch hits it to left field, but my left fielder Lou Brock has speed and gets there and that's the first out of the inning. Here Gavin Lux is up and in his last at bat he got the triple but this time he needs a little blooper. Can Chipper get there? He cannot but I'm able to get the guy from first out so that worked out for us there. TK Hernandez is up and on the 0-2 pitch boy did I leave one hanging right down the middle and he made me pay and now it's 3-3 three to three, just like that is a tie ball game. Kluber comes back strong with the next batter, the pitcher Zach Greinke, and I strike him out to end the inning. So now we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Corey Kluber's up and as you would somewhat expect, he strikes out here. So that's the first out of the inning. Next up here is the man of the hour, Lou Brock. He hits a little dribbler to the shortstop. And with 99 speed, there's no way you're getting Lou out there. And he gets a single. Jacoby Ellsbury, on the other hand, does not get a little dribbler. All he gets is that curveball that throws him to get the second out of the inning. Here, Tripper Jones is up, and on the 0-1 pitch, he finds his pitch. He hits it perfectly. And with two outs, I'm not sure if I should send Brock, but I figured not to just to be safe since there's two outs and I don't want to make the third out. Here Gleyber Torres is up and on the 1-2 pitch I hit it to left field. The left fielder gets there in time now and that's the end of the inning. Here we have Mookie Betts and he hits one deep. It looks like it may go. It may not. It just barely stays in the park. My left fielder Luke Rock gets it and then he did something wacky there so I tagged him out and that is the first out of the inning. Peralta on the 3-2 pitch, I chose to go with the slurred ball. I think it just froze him because he didn't even swing. And now there's two outs. On the 0-2 pitch to Gary Sanchez, I get yet another strikeout with Corey Kluber. And he's having a pretty good game. Here, Cody Bellinger hits a chopper to the first baseman. And will he be safe or will he be out? He is just barely out. And that's the first out in the bottom of the sixth. Here Posey's up, and on the 0-2 pitch, I do not strike out, but I do pop out to the second piece. That was not the best pitch to swing at, but now there's two outs. Here Reggie Jackson is up, and on the 0-2 pitch, Reggie Jackson strikes out. That was a good pitch to hit. I probably should have snacked that one. Here in the seventh inning, Big Poppy is up. And he hits one to center field, but Jacoby Ellsbury with that speed is able to get there and record the first out. Rendon here strikes out once again, 
and that's the second out of the inning and that was an absolute dot sinker pitch right there the kid is up and on the 0-2 pitch I get him to swing on a pitch that was close to the zone and now we're going to the bottom of the seventh on the 1-0 pitch Carlos Correa hits one by the third baseman down the line and I figured to stay at first since there's no outs no need to risk a double there I bring in Nolan Gorman to pinch hit for Kluber and it immediately pays off as he hits one to left field as well and now it's first and second with no outs. Lou Brock is now up and on the first pitch of the at bat he finds his pitch hits one a chopper to third base and I guess he was trying to tag the guy from third out because Brock has 99 speed but that worked out now the bases are loaded with no outs. Here Jacoby Ellsbury is up and on the 1-0 pitch he hits it to left field and the guy on third has 65 speed so I send him home and he is safe fortunately the throw is offline. Now Chipper Jones is up and on the 1-2 pitch he hits it to left field the left fielder catches it and I decide not to tag up. Now Mr. Gleyber Torres is up and he's 1 for 3 he hits one into the alley but that one looks like it's catchable and he catches it so that ends the inning but we got one run so now we have a 4-3 lead. I brought in live series Chaffin in the 8th and on the 0-2 pitch we strike out Gavin Lux so there's one down now. Here Kike Hernandez is up and on the 0-2 pitch he strikes out so there's two down. Fortunately he did not hit a homer like previously in this game. Chaffin threw a very good 8th inning as he strikes out Eloy Jimenez and now we're 3 outs away from the win. Here Cody Bellinger is up and on the 2-2 pitch he strikes out looking and that's the first out of the bottom of the 8th. Now Buster Posey is up and on the 0-2 pitch he hits a little blooper once again this time into center field. The center fielder catches it this time and that's the second out of the inning. Now Reggie Jackson is up and on the 1-2 pitch he hits an opposite field hit but the guy dives and it gets past him so now he's heading for, for second he's not close to it now he has it something and hey why not send him home we're up by one and he is safe and inside the park home run you do not see those every day Carlos Correa is now up he hits it to the first baseman so then the first baseman just tags it and now we're going to the ninth. Goose Gossage here is able to get Mookie Betts to strike out, so then we gotta throw it to first, and that's out number one. Here, David Peralta is up, and on the first pitch of the at bat, he hits a little blooper, but fortunately, Correa shows off his wheels and gets there, and that's out number two. Next up here is Gary Sanchez, and unfortunately, I missed my location here, and he makes me pay, so. If Reggie did not hit that inside the parker, it would have been tied. Fortunately, we're still up by one now, though. Big Poppy here on a full count, strikes out, swinging, and that's the ball game. We win the game 5-4. to four. With that being said, Reggie Jackson was a notable player. He hit two homers and had three RBIs. I would say he had a pretty big game. Our ranking also increased from 384 to 421, and then our reward was just a bat there. Nothing too special. I'll probably sell that later. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe. And also, I stream on Twitch, so I'll leave that link in the description below. That way, if you guys ever want to catch a stream, you know where you can find that.